Hey everybody, welcome to Slur Riders Motor Vlog. Today we're gonna to be doing a walk around and possibly a test ride on the PCX 160. So sit back, relax. Slur Riders Motor Vlog review is about to begin. Alright guys, so this is the Honda PCX 160. We'll just do a quick walk around. This is going to be your matte brown metallic. Hundred and sixty cc's single cylinder four stroke liquid cooled. Seat height is thirty one thirty inches. From front tire to back tire is gonna be fifty one point seven. Like the color. So this is this bike is going to be the cousin to the um, Honda ADV 160. It's definitely, I would say it's definitely a lot smaller. It weighs in at uh, curb weight is 288. Go ahead and take a seat on it. Excuse the traffic noise. We'll go ahead and start it up. Like the little dash, this digital display. Got your clock there. You got your ABS, which is front. Front ABS. Your ignition key, your fuel and seat. Pretty quiet. Front shield seems to be a little smaller than the ADV. Yeah, this is definitely more compact than the ADV 160. Man, I can just imagine zipping around on this thing. And over here on the side, you have yourself a little storage compartment. Got your phone hookup right here. That's pretty deep in there. Yeah, it's a nice little bit of storage. We'll go ahead and uh, cut it off. Check out the storage under the seat. Looks like you can get a full size helmet in there. Got some pretty good storage in there. I guess your tools or stuff in there. But yeah, it's not bad. You got your um, trickle charger connection. do the fuel yeah this cap pops in and out well I like how you can has a place to sit the cap I know with the X max and ADV you kind of had to set it to the side there you can just pop it in there I like that feature it's also got your rear passenger pegs never seen it quite like this these are kind of more flat these are pretty cool um, would definitely be tight to have a passenger back there but you could do it it'd have to be small you 
And those are pretty cool. I would say all in all this is a pretty nice compact cool little scooter. It does have the uh, emergency brake on there. And you got it parked, parking brake. Alright, so sitting on this thing, like I say, I'm almost 5'11. Here's my foot in reference to the steering and to the uh, handlebar. So, you do have some clearance. A taller person might struggle with this bike. Uh, someone's a little over six foot, might be a little, a little tighter in there. But all in all, it's really comfortable. Yeah, I can see zipping through traffic on this thing and rolling. Top speed on it, about 70 miles an hour. Yeah, but this is, um, I would say this is the ADV's cousin. I mean, they're both 160, so. I can't say it's the little brother of it. But it definitely is smaller and more compact, for sure. Definitely a sharp little scooter. All right, guys, we're gonna take this thing for a ride down this road here. They're gonna allow us to take it for a little spin down the road here. She ain't been ran in a while. But we're just going to go down the road here. It's a uh, road that's not in use. I know we're not going to get it, like, we're not going to blow it out. We're not going to go real crazy. I mean, this is not my vehicle. Twig was nice enough to let me uh, just, you know, take it for a little quick spin. So, you know, I'm not going to be doing anything crazy. Just kind of give you a, a point of view of how how it looks and how it rides. But it is, it is definitely um, definitely a nice little compact um, little scooter. I don't know if the, uh, the windshield uh, does much any good. aesthetics than anything very smooth ride though suspension is nice and it says road close but we're gonna go down here and spin around and then we'll open it up a little bit we're not gonna try to hit the 70 mark very nimble very light I mean this would this this would be a lot of fun. I mean, this would be a toss up. Like if I had never ridden the ADV, I mean this this little thing whips around, man. You can just look at how quick I turn that thing around. And let's open it up a little bit. And she got some pep to her. She's got some pep. I can see once this thing is broken in, this thing will. Uh, this thing will hum. 
for sure. Like I said, the price tag is um, uh, forty-one around forty-one hundred. A lot cheaper than a car nowadays, that's for sure. You can really, really, uh, turning ratio is really good on this thing. Yeah, but we're going to pull it back in here. Just wanted to, you know, give you guys a little point of view of how, um, I fit on it and whatever your height might be. And just, you know, just a little quick little, little stroll here. Like I say, Twig was nice enough to give us a chance to take a little spin on it. I mean, we could have went farther, but uh, maybe on the next review. Maybe on the 2024 Yamaha X-Max we'll take for a longer ride. Sweet. I like it. Alright guys, that's going to be our walk around of the uh, PCX 160 2023. Um, if you're interested in this, contact Twig Cycles of Hagerstown, Maryland. They'll get you hooked up. Alright guys, remember, like, subscribe, and comment below. And until next time, Slow Riders Motor Vlog Review is out of here.